Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to US Election Hub and today we're going to be doing a 2020 presidential election matchup between Joe Biden and Donald Trump who is would be the current incumbent president. And there's tons of information about a potential Biden versus Donald Trump race. And so we're going to be taking a look at the polls, the information that's currently coming out, and basically deciding who would win this election. And so let's go ahead and get right into it. So the first thing we're going to be looking at is polls with Joe Biden and Donald Trump. So the one thing I want to advise here is polling is very early out. I mean, 2018 polls will not be accurate in indicating, you know, how strong a potential candidate is. But as we can see in a similar trend here, Joe Biden has won every poll against Donald Trump. There's not a single one where he doesn't win it. And he usually wins by around an average of 50%. And so obviously that's very concerning for if you were a Republican or even just Donald Trump because Donald Trump is currently a weaker candidate. He's sitting around 40% approval rating if we're going to use the approval rating for uh, you know as of today. And so Joe Biden definitely is a strong candidate. And this would be expected because Joe Biden was the vice president of Barack Obama and he has tons of name recognition. A lot of people say he could have ran in 2016, but actually I think if he ran in 2016, uh, Hillary Clinton probably would still have gotten the nomination. So Joe Biden clearly is the front runner right now. And another thing that backs this up is because there we just got a poll recently from the Iowa Democratic Caucus. Now remember, this is going to be the first, you know, uh, you know, big caucus for the Democrats in the Democratic primary. And so as you guys can see, Biden is currently leading the herd over here of potential Democratic nominees. Remember, none of these people have actually announced they're going to run for president. So these are all potential people. But Joe Biden particularly has expressed an interest in running, and it's more than likely that he'll end up announcing soon. But as you can see, he is leading by 13 points. He's an early front runner, and he has a name recognition. And you know, it's really it's you know it's going to be a very contested race, as you guys can see. So now going back into the 2020 presidential election map, let's go ahead and uh, fill start filling this in. Uh, between safe states and not safe states. So let's go ahead and start with the Northeast over here. So hopefully this works real quick. There we go. Uh, so we're going to leave these two as swing states, but we're going to go ahead and move on and fill in the safe states over here. All the Northeast is generally going to be safe for the Democratic nominee. New York, Vermont are going to be safe. Illinois, definitely safe. New Mexico, Colorado. Mm, yeah, Colorado has not been competitive in a while, so I'm going to leave that up there. Uh, Washington and Hawaii. So these are your safe Democratic states, as you can see, are 196. Now let's go ahead and fill in the safe Donald Trump states. So we're going to go ahead and fill in, you know, generally the Midwest over here. Uh, Texas is still going to be safe against, you know, someone like Joe Biden. You know, uh, you know, Barack Obama did not do too well in Texas. So, you know, some say changing demographics could help that. But I really don't think Texas is going to be anywhere competitive in 2020 because this is going to be more Republican turnout generally. And so I think it will be perfectly this. It will be around the same margin for Donald Trump. It was in 2016. Alaska is going to be safe. And then you have a larger, a lot of the South, which is going to be safe here. So let's go ahead and fill out on those safe states, Arkansas, Missouri. And uh, the rest of the states here are all going to be swing states. So let's go ahead and all make turn those all into swing states real quick. Uh, I did not fill in Utah. Let me go ahead and fill that in. It will still likely be Republican. Um, so that's one thing to look at. And these two states over here are going to be competitive. We'll see about Georgia, Florida. North Carolina and Virginia. Now, not all of these are going to be competitive in a Biden v. Donald Trump matchup, but I just wanted to get up as many swing states as possible. Uh, that would really still be considered swing. Maybe besides Georgia, all of these are pretty much competitive. And so let's go ahead and start filling this in. Now, Joe Biden, I think, is going to... Uh, do he's gonna be he's he's a clear front runner and I think in a matchup between Joe Biden and Donald Trump Joe Biden will likely win but let's see where Donald Trump can pick up some states Donald Trump will likely carry North Carolina uh, this has been a tough one for Democrats to win 
for some time. Obama got did very well in 2008, in, in which he was able to win North Carolina. But since then, Republicans have won the state back. Florida in 2018 actually voted for the Trump-style candidate, so I actually still believe that Joe Biden would not win Florida. Georgia, as much as um, as much of as much as it was competitive in 2018, uh, it's still a leaning red state, and so the, the the Republican Party will likely win that. But let's see some uh, Joe Biden pickups. Well, Joe Biden will likely win Virginia. He'll likely carry oh Iowa. He'll likely carry Nevada and um, Minnesota. Uh, let's see Arizona. Arizona will probably still go to the GOP, although it's going to be very close in the 2020 presidential election. Donald Trump only won here by four points in 2016. But you also have to remember that this was a state that Bill Clinton won in 1996, I believe. And so it was either 1996 or 1992. I'm forgetting now. But it's one of those states that has been consistently red, but it has gotten closer to a swing state, especially recently. But I'm going to put this into the Republican column. Ohio is also one of those interesting states. I, th I still believe that it will vote Republican. This is one of Donald Trump's st strong ho strongholds. Uh, he won here by 13 or 11 points. Uh, so it was definitely very, you know, a very big win for Donald Trump. Now, as you can see, Joe Biden is now behind but the rest of these states are going to go in favor of joe biden donald trump unfortunately is not going to be able to win re-election uh if you are a fan of him because as you can see this is the map of what would happen in a joe biden versus donald trump matchup so it's definitely competitive joe biden wins by a healthy margin around 15 more uh, electoral votes after 270 which is required to win so, you know, this would definitely be a competitive race, but not as competitive as you may think because Ohio and Florida have gone a little bit to the red column here. And states like Georgia, Texas, and Arizona are not quite blue enough or swing state enough for them to flip just yet. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.